After some time spent searching for the best programming language for your project, you may have thought, is there a programming language that doesn't use English keywords? Okay, maybe I'm the only one wondering those strange things while doing researches for my projects. But the question itself seems really interesting, so let's find out. When talking about programming and programming languages in general, English seems to be a kind of lingua franca for writing computer programs. The reason why is pretty obvious. Modern programming languages descend from older programming languages mainly developed in the US in the mid of the past century. So it seems natural that those languages evolved, maintaining the current language as a source for words and terms to be used as keywords. But before we move to the US, I want to point out that the first high-level programming language ever invented was the plain calcul and it has been invented by Konrad Zuse which was a German engineer between 1942 and 1945 so here is an hello world in plain calcul Starting from the 1915s, a lot of notable programming languages started to come to life. Flowmatic appeared for the first time in 1955 and its syntax may be quite familiar Yes, you guessed it. Flowmatic is an ancestor of COBOL. And just like in COBOL, the English language is strictly a part of the programming language itself. The next big programming language born in these years is Fortran. It was developed by IBM in 1955, and just like Flowmatic, it uses English for its keywords. So we can find keywords such as function, integer, if, else, and so on. In 1958, John McCarthy developed Lisp, which is one of the oldest programming languages still in use today, alongside with Fortran. During these years, many other programming languages appeared on the scene. Algol 58, COBOL, APL, Simula, CPL, BASIC, and many others. That's important because all the languages we use today are an evolution of the languages we've seen so far. In fact, CPL, with the B programming language, led to C, and C led to C Sharp, C++, Java, PHP, and many other programming languages we are loving today. Lisp led to Racket, Scheme, Clojure, and many other Lisp dialects we are still using today. Algo 58 instead led to Pascal and Simula, which was the first object-oriented programming language of history. So with the evolution of the programming languages, English became a kind of convention for writing computer programs. But that doesn't mean that there weren't other programming languages written in Spanish, French, German or other languages. They just didn't become so popular and widely used. But that brings me to the next point, because the majority of languages we've seen so far has been developed in the US. But that doesn't mean that all the languages we are using today are coming from there. In fact, we can say that object-oriented programming has been invented in Norway by Juan Dahl and Christian Niger while working on Simula in the 60s. ML, the ancestor of Standard ML, OCaml, F-Sharp, Reason ML, and Coq, has been developed in France in 1973, and it has been determinant for the development of functional programming languages. Pascal has been developed by Nicholas Wirth in the 70s, and he was a Swiss computer engineer. But the list of the programming languages coming from outside the US doesn't stop there. We have Python, which has been developed in the Netherlands, Ruby from Japan, OCaml from France, and Elixir and Lua from Brazil, and so on. By the way, in the online historical encyclopedia of programming languages, we can see that in 8900 of known programming languages, 2400 of them has been developed in the United States, 600 in the UK, 160 in Canada, and 75 in Australia, all countries with the same mother language. Still, there is a category of programming languages that doesn't need any kind of keyword at all. I'm talking about symbolic programming. Symbolic programming languages are programming languages that uses charters and symbols instead of keywords for representing concepts such as conditionals, loops, operations, and so on. Actually, we've already talked about a symbolic programming language, which is APL. In this code example, we are listing all the prime numbers from 1 to R, and we are doing that using symbols only. Lambda Calculus is another amazing example of how we can implement programs without even using symbols, except for a dot and parentheses. And here is an example of 
how to implement multiplication using lambda calculus. And there's actually another example that I want to show you, which is BrainFuck. BrainFuck is a Turing complete programming language which only uses eight charters to run. And if you've been following this channel for long enough, you may know that I've created a tutorial on how to write a compiler for BrainFuck, and you will find all the information you need in the comments section for this video. And just as a reference, this is an hello world written in BrainFuck. Symbolic programming is widely used in esoteric programming languages, so I highly suggest you to take a look at the Esoteric Programming Languages Wiki. You can find its link in the description field for this video. So now let's move on to the last section for this video, where we will talk about programming languages where we have keywords that are not in English. And the first example that I want to show you is Linut, which is a French programming language. And as you can see, it uses French keywords such as bonjour le monde, début, and okay, I cannot pronounce this. I'm sorry, French friends. <laughs> the next language is Sako, and it's a Polish programming language where the name stands for System Automatycznego Kodowania Operacji. Let's see how it looks like. And from that code snippet, you can tell why Sako is also called the Polish Fortran. So now let's move to Russia and take a look at Rapira. We can also travel to Japan and take a look at Himavari. I hope I pronounced this correctly. There's also a quite popular Lisp dialect called Kalbon, which is often referred as the Arabic Lisp. And there's also a Chinese version of the C programming language, which is called EPL. Easy programming language. In this video, we've scratched the surface of non-English programming languages, and I'm sure that I completely missed some important programming languages. But if you ever wonder if is there any programming language that doesn't use English for its keywords, the answer is yeah, there are many programming languages which doesn't use English at all. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a like, and let me know what would you like me to talk next. See you next time.